What's up guys, how are you all doing? We'll do the metal parts now and for that we're going to start with some Games Workshop Warp Lock Bronze and we'll paint that over a black base. So for our first highlight we'll mix some Games Workshop Auric Armor Gold into the Warp Lock Bronze and I'm going to apply this at the front of these little bangly numbers here. I'm going to do two highlight spots just so that there's a bit of interest as you turn the model. So I'm just applying this as you would a normal layer by sweeping the brush to where I want the highlight to be. And I'll do the second highlight here on the side. On his belt we're going to pull the highlight to the middle of these little rounded bits. Generally on rounded parts you want the highlight on the peak or the zenith of the area. These little funky side bits are quite flat so what we're going to do is pull the highlight down to the bottom edge. And we'll do that bit at the top as well, again pulling the highlight to the centre. Alright so for our next highlight we'll just use the Auric Armor Gold and we're basically going to do exactly the same thing but this time we'll place the highlight on a smaller surface area. So just follow where you place the highlights in the last step, but make them smaller. When I'm doing this, I usually do a quick glaze into the shadows with some purple ink, but it looks like I've forgotten to do that. It's not that big a deal though, but if you're trying this out, after you've done the highlights, just put a small amount of purple ink where you want your shadows. It's really quite a nice effect. So once you've done that, or not if you happen to be me, you're going to take some Games Workshop Drakenhof Nightshade and just wash fairly liberally over the whole surface. So this is going to dull out that horrible plasticky artificial shine you get on your metallics. So once that's dry we're going to use either some P3 Gold Steel or some Games Workshop Iron Breaker and we're just going to mix that into the Auric Armor Gold and then we'll use that just to apply a final little highlight right in the middle. That will give you a nice little glint effect just to finish it off. And then the same on the belt here. And I'll just take some of that cold steel on its own now and dot the top of these little flat bits just to make them stand out a little bit. And what the hell, I'll do little tiny highlights on the middle of the belt too with that cold steel. Alright, so seeing as we, well, I say we, seeing as I forgot, we're going to grab some of that purple ink now. So this is Scale Colour Intensity Violet, which I'm going to thin down with a little bit of water because this stuff is really quite strong. And now I'm just going to use it like a glaze and run it into the shadows. So like I said, it's better to do this just before your initial highlights, before you apply the wash, because what happens is the blue wash alters the colour of the purple a little bit and it gives you quite a nice shade effect. But doing it afterwards actually works out okay too, it's just a slightly different look. For the steel parts, what I'm going to do is just use some of that P3 cold steel again, and I'll add a bit of black this time to darken it down. And then I'm going to use some of that uh, scale colour blue ink just to give it a bit of a blue tinge. Careful that you don't add too much though because it's really easy to overdo it with these inks. A little goes a long way. Okay so I'll just splat that on there. Thank you. 
For the highlight, I'll just go straight for the cold steel and I'm going to layer that onto the top of whatever these things are. And I'll do the same on the end of the gun. So I'm doing my best here not to paint into those little vent holes so that we keep quite a, a nice shadow there. On the underside I'll pick out these little details by hitting the edge of the little vents. Alright, so now I'm simply going to wash the whole thing with some Drakenhof Nightshade. So that's a pretty simple way to do metals, but it's actually quite effective. Thank you very much for your support. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.